Greetings, and welcome to Behind the Curtain. Here on Behind the Curtain, we're going to look at the world of community theater. I'm your host, Susan Harrington, and today I'm going to be talking with Ben Delatiski. Ben is a noted, known director. <laughs> welcome, Ben. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Glad to be here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> yes. Ben and I have a little... It's not love-hate, but it's a silly, silly thing that we, we go through. <laughs> Anyways, so I have some questions that, of course, I want to ask to help keep me on track because we know how I can ramble. <laughs> not you supposed to say, no, not you, Susan. How did you get into directing? Because you mostly direct now. You have acted. I have acted. But yeah. you now mostly direct. I do mostly direct. Um, the way I got into directing is there was a particular show that I wanted to direct. And I was with the Burlington Players, and I wanted to direct the play Proof. Ooh. And I eventually got to do it there. But they said, oh, well, have you ever directed anything before? And I said, mm, not really, nothing of any substance or anything like that. Well, you have to go through our director certification program, which they had uh, because they wanted people to um, have a basically have um, a stake in the organization. They didn't want someone, you know, just breezing in, directing, and then, you know, not, uh, you know, not having, you know, any any skin in the game. Yeah. For, for you know for the organization. But I had been there like two, maybe three years or so already. Because was this before? Was this before or after you did Diary of Anne Frank? This was, I think, after. Okay. I believe it was after. I saw you in that, but go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this was after. And so they said, okay, you can go through our director certification program. And I said, okay, but you know, what do I got to do to do it? And so what you have to do is you have to, um, you have to mentor with somebody and you, have to, and you have to assist and direct the show. So I assist and directed um, The Man Who Came to Dinner. <gasps> I saw that with, with Russell. With Russell. Yes. Or he calls it the 90-minute monologue with a few interruptions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, and Jen Howard directed that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so I assistant directed it. And Jen was kind enough to let me direct the entire third act That's myself. A yeah. And so, and it's Russell, of course. And, <laughs> and, and Russell is a personality. Oh, yes. Shall we say. Okay. Uh, but he was, he was... He was a gem. He was he was lovely. I produced for Russell, so <laughs> next. <laughs> and so, um, and so then after, uh, so it took me two rehearsals to you know to, you know to block and stage the show, uh, the the act I should say, uh, and then Jen came in and she wasn't there when I did it. She oh. just let me she let me go on my own, and um, she came in you know and. We did a, a run through of, of the act, and she only changed two little things that I had done. Wow. Yeah. And so after that, uh, I had to direct an actual, an actual production, yeah. an actual show. So I directed a piece for uh, uh, Windmere Family Theater, which is like the children's yeah. theater part of Burlington Players. And so I directed a piece called Seth's Anxiety. Oh. Which we also took to festival. Okay. We took to the EMAC festival, and uh, it uh, it went over it went over pretty well there, you know. And so that was my that was kind of my directing debut was Man Who Came to Dinner and Set wow, Anxiety. Man Who Came to Dinner, that's a toughie right there. Yeah. Because because yeah. we did that together in Winchester. We did. We did. I directed the full production of oh, that. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the Joe Berry was because someone bailed on us. He was three different people. He was three different characters. Yeah, yeah. God love him. God love him. He was. Oh, he was. He I was wonderful him. at yeah. that. He so now, wonderful. then, what types of material are you drawn to? The kind of things that I tend to be drawn to are things that have to do with family dysfunction. Oh. Okay. Um, things where. You where on first blush, uh, all of the characters or most of the characters are not very likable people. Okay. Okay. But 
it's kind of the it's the kind of thing you do, it, it's the kind of thing where people say, well, you don't know my story, okay? okay, and they're able to tell their story, and at the end of it, you still may not like them as people, right? But you, ha as an audience member, you are either going to be conflicted about how you feel about them, or you're going to have some kind of empathy for them. And that's and that's the thing I'm going for. Um, it's 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 not enough for me to say, okay, you, you have this this not so likable person or this evil person or something. You've got to find the humanity okay. in that person. Okay. Um, so then, uh, that having been said, that leads me to. So can you give me some examples of, of shows? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I've directed a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Um, there's um, Glass Menagerie. Oh, okay. Okay. And you Rise have, and Shine. Yeah, Rise and Shine. And you have, you know, you have Amanda, who is not, you know, not yeah. a very likable character, yeah. but uh, she has her reasons for being, um, you know, the way the way she is. Yeah. She is a, you know, she's a, a, you know, a single mother, you know, and you know, with with a with a you know with a handicapped child and a and a son who is has who wanderlust he, his wanderlust exactly you know um, he's a good person but yeah. he has he has issues going on yeah. in, inside him and she doesn't quite know how to how to deal with that uh, you know and she doesn't she doesn't know how to deal with her her children really and so her husband I mean, her, her husband left her, you know, yeah. you know, and you know, in the marriage, and left them with the two, two okay, kids. Okay, so name another one. Another one, August Osage County. Uh, <laughs> now, that, did that win the Pulitzer? Or it won? Yes, okay. yes, I believe it won the Pulitzer. Uh, Is that Tracy Letts? Yes. Okay. Yes, and I believe it also uh, won a Tony. Oh yeah, okay. As well. Okay. All right. So that one. There's a whole lot of dysfunction. A whole going lot on. of dysfunction uh, going on there. A whole lot of characters. Yes. And each one of them yeah. has something going on with them. And there is every kind of, 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 of um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's every kind of, of weakness and every kind of. Of, of taboo, okay. you name it, yeah. it is it I, is in there. It is there is. I know because when I went to see it, it was like, oh, I get it, and then something happens, you go, ooh, yeah, ooh, you're doing a lot of ooh, oh my yeah. goodness, yeah, so, there's, yeah. There, there's <laughs> there's alcoholism, there's suicide, there's um, oh, incest, yeah. there's you 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 name Even it. Even a racist kind of a thing because of the Native American. Oh name. yeah, yeah, you name it. So Tracy didn't let nothing go. <laughs> no, not at all. And everybody's got their story yeah. in there. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a your table. Your table um, talk. Well, not table, but your table. Your read-throughs must have been, or your, you know, must have been amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. And then and then just developing yeah. these characters and saying, look, you know, you can't just play it just for this emotion. You mm -hmm. you you've you've you've, you've Got to find the humanity somewhere. Okay, you have to. Um, this may be one character that you can't find any humanity for, and I think you can probably okay. guess which one it is. Yeah, you know. we won't tell so, folks so in case they go see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So then, okay. So name one more for me, because then I got another question. One more, okay. And I think the I think I know what it might be. Uh, I think ahead. the granddaddy of them all, of family dysfunction, is probably who's afraid of Virginia Yo. Woolf. <laughs> but you know what though? I saw Sideman when you did it and someone else did it. And I'm gonna put it this way because it won't sound delicate. What you did with or to or with, with Shana, who was just absolutely amazing, I was in tears. Yeah. When I saw it the other place, I was like, well, okay, she's she's a pain in the behind. <laughs> You know, I can see why they don't want to do it, but Shana just took me to another whole place. Yeah. She's she's unbelievable. So she, so she's no slouch to work with. So then um in the in that category, are there other favorites you have? Although maybe we should um maybe I wanna just jump to that. 
with, because um, you had some success, a little bit of success. Just a little. A little bit of success with <laughs> Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Yes. And then, so, it was, uh, I was teasing her about the dress that she wore because, you know, it showed some of her accoutrements, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and so her costume was, but you got Richard from Florida, right? Mm -hmm. So, but tell me, tell, tell us about Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf yeah. before I go too far. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I have wanted to do Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf probably since I read it in the late 1970s. Oh, yeah. Okay. And at the time, uh, I thought, well, one day I am going to get to play George. When I look older oh. and my voice changes and whatever, uh -huh. and um, but I never got to do that. I never got to look like George, a George. I never got to sound like a George. Okay, I mean, listen to me. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, I'm, 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 well, not, I'm, I don't, know. I don't, I'm not exactly James Earl Jones well, here. Well, I sent it then. <laughs> so, what are you going to be directing next? And I, oh no, I'm just, I'm going to retire. I'm not going to do anything more. <laughs> blah 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 blah. And then I'm talking to someone, and they're going, Oh yeah, Ben's doing Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Like, what? <laughs> he fibbed to me. But go ahead. So, so I wa I've wanted to do that for quite some time. Um, and I've seen a few productions of it. A lot of them, not very good. They make it about the, you know, the drinking, the alcohol, about the anger and all that and everything. And it just, it, I mean, you pound somebody with that and they're just gonna tune out. Yeah. They're just gonna tune out. But having read it, and when I read it, I, somehow I found there was a sadness in it there was a humanity in it. There was an empathy mm -hmm. there. And there were some productions I've seen that have brought that out. And in 2020, there was going to be a revival of it with Laurie Metcalf oh. as Martha. And mm -hmm. I was going to go see that. Mm -hmm. But it closed in previews because of COVID. COVID. Yeah. Okay. But the thing that I knew, I, I surmised, I should say, that made me think that this was going to be a different production. It was their logo oh. for the show. Their logo was a house on fire. Oh. Their logo wasn't the typical rocks glasses. Yeah. It wasn't the typical two people, you know, angry at each other and everything. It was a house on fire. Yeah. And I said, hmm. Maybe this production is going yeah. to get it. Yeah. And when we did our production, I said to Shana, I said, we're going to have a logo with a house on fire. It wasn't exactly the same as yeah. that. It was very different. I didn't even, stylistically, I didn't like the, the Broadway logo, but I liked the message yeah. that it sent. Okay. And so you look at our logo and it's a house on fire, literally a house on fire. And so from the read through, I said, we are going to find the empathy for these people. We are not making it about the, the alcohol. Yeah. We are not making it about the yelling and the screaming and, the, and, and all that. Well, you know the postcard that you guys did? Yeah. You could see it in that. Yeah. I say, I still have that postcard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could just look at Shana. Like, she's just ridiculous and yeah. wonderful. Anyway, but um, you could just see it, and it was like your heart was breaking yeah. for this woman. It's like, yeah. And in the and, in, and when she has her monologue in the third act, oh my yeah. God! And when it and at the end, when it all, you know, it, it yeah. all resolves, there is such a sadness there, you know. Well, you know, I was I, what I was happy about because I had been ill and I wasn't sure, so I came last minute. And when I got there, paid for my ticket, and, I, and then I thought, oh, there was n nobody in the audience. I thought, oh, wow, well, this is too bad. And then all of a sudden, whoosh, it filled up. Yeah. You know, and I thought, well, this is great because, you know, when you, to me, I, I don't perform, but as a production manager, I find that, or if I've stage managed, that the more bodies that there were in the audience, the en energy changes, and that energy then reflects on or to the um, yeah. transmits to the performers, yeah. and their performances are different than if they if they have fifteen or fifty 
or 500 people or five in the audience. Yeah, and, so, we, were, and we were really close. We were, they, we, we, we were like within spitting distance of yeah. people. Yeah, oh, could, I know. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could count people's pores. Yeah. That's how, that's, that's how close everybody yeah. was. Because, I mean, it was just amazing how, like I said, oh, I, I was feeling so bad. Oh, nobody's coming, nobody's here. And I thought, well, the, I thought the day of the week and the, you know, what have you. And then it was just, but then you figure about where it was. Folks were probably out there trying to find parking spaces. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, yeah. that's why I come early. Yeah. I'm, I'm obnoxious <laughs> that way. So, um, so, so with Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, what are some of the things that came out of that? In terms of? Well, um, okay, there's no more stage source, but there's, I get confused now. Is it the Norton Awards or Norton's? The, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Now I know where you're going. Okay. okay. So, the upshot of what happened is that um, I got nominated for uh, best direction of a play. Shana got nominated for um, best performance, and my lead for George uh, Brooks Reeves yeah. got nominated for. Um, Best performance as okay. well. So, but didn't uh, Honey get? what I say, I know, I know, I can see her face. Yeah. But didn't the actress who played Honey wasn't she nominated for no. that? No. Oh. no. Okay. No. And the show itself got nominated for best production, small company. Right. We won two out of the three. Hey, hey. Shana won. Yeah. And uh, the production won. Hot dog. So I'm ha I'm I'm happy with that. Yes. I'll take that any day. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So producers out there, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's just that because they do things, um, is it small, medium, large? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's nice, though, that they do that. Yeah. Way because there's yeah. some things that it's, I don't think it's fair to compare a show like that, not the, not the production itself, but the, with the space and what all that, yep. to the Huntington yep. or to the Colonial right. or something like that. Right. Like, and my, my understanding is the way they, and this is the, 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 it's the Boston critics that determine uh, okay. who, you know, who's nominated and wins and all right. that. And my understanding is, is that they have a group of critics for the large theater, the group of critics for the medium, and a group oh. of critics for the small. Oh, okay. So they have three Do different set, groups. Oh, now, okay. I don't know if they, you know, they switch out, you know, in, yeah. in subsequent seasons or, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same um, critics that see okay. e that that um, that determine for each uh, each each grouping. So I guess we were lucky. And Joyce Cole Haywick was in, oh, <laughs> in okay. our grouping. So now, okay. So, for example, we've talked yes, about dropped. we've talked <laughs> we've talked about um, August Osage, and we talked about Virginia Woolf, and then. Uh, Man who came to dinner. So like, I'm, oh, and side men. So I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking drama, drama, comedy. Uh, which do you prefer? Um, I probably prefer drama yeah. at this point. I've done musicals as well. Yeah, I what have. musical? I have done. Um, I've done. A funny thing happened in the way of the forum. For who? For at Burlington. Oh, okay. I, okay. I did. Um, Man of La Mancha, and I did. Sweet I know I missed that. I was upset that I missed that. And I did uh, Sweeney Todd. For 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 oh, for, for Burlington. you did Sweeney. Oh my God. Yeah. We Sandy Armstrong and I have a joke about I'm not producing that. Who's because I'm not cleaning up all that blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, know? funny wow. you should say about the blood. What we did for the blood, we didn't use, like the stage stage blood. Yeah. What we did was we had these red scarves that when someone got their throat cut, they would, oh, they, 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 these red scarves that they would pull out. They went to death for you ever after. <laughs> and, and we did that specifically because we said, we don't want to clean up any stage blood. We don't want to deal That's with like that. That's in, like in the movie Chicago, when they talk about the cell block tango, and they, the, the red scarves come out, mm -hmm. and the Hungarian was the only one who, and she kept saying, you know, not guilty, not guilty. Hers was a blue scarf. You knew, okay, uh, she wasn't guilty, she but wasn't anyway. Guilty. So, okay, so, um, 
I'm, get, I'm jumping around too much because That's I'm okay. getting excited. But so, what <laughs> advice do you give to a, a, a director starting out? Uh, director starting out. Um, well, I was I was lucky in that uh, I had a group that had an actual program yeah, in place that is a good uh, for you know for someone that was interested in it. I think you, uh, you know, I don't know how other groups do it, but um, I think you, you know, you, you, you have to, you, you have to have, you have to want to, you know, you have to really want to do it, and you have to have a, a group that's willing to take a chance on you. Because I mean, they're expensive, you, you, and you, especially for our community, and when I say, you know, with the theaters, it's, most of the groups are doing four shows. Yeah. There's some that just do three, yeah. that do three, and there's even some that do two, and there's some that do five, but the yeah. average is four. And if you, if you look at the budget, that's what I always look at, for each show can be anywhere from you know, $5,000 or, or more, yep. or way especially more. Especially for a musical. Especially for a musical. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't play around, or you shouldn't, because you want it to do well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so there and there and there are some groups that have like you know one act festivals or something like that, and yeah. that may be a good way for yeah. someone to. Because QP to, does something yeah, like exactly, that. Exactly, exactly, and that might be a good way for someone to you know, you know, try it out yeah. and do it, and you know, and, the, and and you know, group would be willing to you know to you know to take that chance to take that risk mm -hmm. with, uh, <clears throat> with someone. Um, you know, it's it's a uh, it's not a it's not a cheap endeavor to no. to mount the show. Even you know, even a two or three person show I know. with a simple set can. And and, you know. and unfortunately, there's some groups that they have a policy, if you will, that they want four or more characters on the stage yeah. because that then translates to, and I would clean it up, derrieres in the seats. Yep. And you know the ticket sales because. You know, it's not a mercenary thing, but you want to keep your organization going yeah. and what have you. Because yeah. some groups, if it's if it, they don't have to pay the rent and the heating bill, they've got to pay it to someone else. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's so a, the income it, is important. It's a matter of survival. Yeah. You know, being able to well, we got to do the next show, the next yeah. show, the next show. I yeah. mean, it, it's 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 a huge it's a huge time it suck. Is. It is. You know, I mean, if you're directing, acting, whatever you're doing. With a community theater, it is it is it's almost like having a second job. Oh yeah, you, you know, Tell me about it. it's it's you know people can call it a hobby, but it's 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 more than a hobby and less than a, a vocation. A, a vocation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I've gotten calls where I call it the high honey call. Hi, honey, and these are people that I think the world of, but I never hear from them, and I don't even. I just cut to the chase. What do you need? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm doing this show and it needs this, this, and this. Can you help me? Yeah. Then I go, yes, Ben, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I have been, I, yeah. I have been guilty of oh, that. Oh, yeah, and you're not the only one. But so, not, not, not as often as some people. I know. I get that. Maybe once, maybe twice. Yeah. I mean, it's just the, I get the high, I, I, someone says, what happened? I said, I got a high honey call. Oh, what do they need? You know, and especially for us around here doing shows where the, the role demands a person of color. Yeah. For example, I told I was telling somebody the other day that I've seen a number of productions of The Boys Next Door and I've never seen one with a black Lucien. And they go, well, what does that matter? And I go, he's supposed to be black. Yeah. I said, if you watch the movie, it's Courtney B. Vance. Really? I said, yeah, because we just can't get it. So, but I thought, you know, that's just my, my joke. I'll say, oh, here comes Ben, watch, watch me make him laugh. I go, hi, honey, because we know what it refers <laughs> to. So, as a, Final, if you will, because I don't want to lose this. What do you have in any of those three categories on your bucket list? Funny you should ask. My bucket list, I have a new favorite musical. Ooh. And it's a musical that is not yet available. I would like to do, when it becomes available. Okay, I think I know. Go ahead. I would like to do Come From Away. <laughs> And you know what the MTI guy, when I say I'm at national, Everybody wants to I do said, it. I said, listen, I want to ask you about Come From Away. He goes, don't bother. Yeah. I said, but he goes, forget it. <laughs> it ain't happening. Yeah. He said, because it's still, you know. I have seen it. I have seen it. Wow. Three times. Wow. I've seen it once on Broadway, two times in Boston. I've seen the 
production that was filmed for Apple TV. I've watched that at least three times. Wow. Okay. So, and, and I'm at a point where yeah. when, I, when I see it, I'm like, okay, I gotta figure out how they get that prop there because I can't tell how they got it there. I'm, I'm, I'm in that midst of kind of figuring out what comes from yeah. where and how, but um, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. the bucket list show for me. Um, it, and it, see, when I see this fella again at Nationals in 2005, cause, I mean 2025, I'm gonna snuggle up to him again and I know he's gonna say, forget it, Susan. <laughs> you know, just it. I'll buy you a cup of coffee. You can buy me the whole coffee bean factory. My old, my old favorite yeah. had been uh, Man of La Mancha. <gasps> I know. And I, I've already done that. Who was your Sancho? Um, my Sancho was, oh my God. I just saw it in uh, Belmont because. Oh, what was his name? I, I it, it escapes me okay. what his name was. But he was, it was a guy who had done Sancho like, Four times before, oh. it was like his entire career. Was had, it was Sancho, <laughs> and he was perfect I for like it. I like him. It's like, why do you look at my wife? You know, this, this poor slob. His wife beats the heck out of him, <laughs> and he's got this one that's hitting him with bed pans and this, that, and the other. So why do you do this? Because I like him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Name me one more if you can. Okay, one more. Um, hmm. God, I've done some. I've done some of my bucket list shows oh, okay. already so um, I think uh, I think I think rabbit hole would be another one that I would like to do it's 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 firmly in the family dysfunction yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, category <laughs> yeah um, but it's a different kind of family dysfunction yeah. really uh, you know that's different from you know a Virginia Wolf or an or an August yeah. Osage County uh, that's one that is um, almost anything David Lindsay A. Bear yeah almost anything yeah. and the thing about David Lindsay A. Bear uh, I've, I, well I've, I've directed uh, I've directed Rabbit Hole okay I, I, I um, the thing about da David Lindsay A. Bear he is such a good writer but if you read Rabbit Hole and you read um, say good, good pe people. Good people. You wouldn't know that they were the same writer. Yeah, kind of. But yeah. see, good people. You know why? To me, it's so close. Is because some of those things he talks about that happened. I lived that time. You know, certain things in the. But at any rate, all right, my dear. I have blib blabbed <laughs> too much. Uh, too. Uh, I mean, like we could go on forever. But I want to thank you for joining us here on Behind the Curtain. And maybe you'll come back with some other stuff we can talk about. Maybe I will. And I'm Susan Harrington, and my guest was Mr. Ben Delatiski, Dory's, my darling Dory's dad. <laughs> I want to get her on here one day, too. Uh, there's no chance. <laughs> you never know. She would not. I, can, I, I know her okay. too well. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.